Today is the 26th of December 2023, it's Boxing Day, and uh, we're on the bus and we're going into Park Lane now, let's have a look see what's going on. So we've, uh, we've arrived at Plaza España and uh, it's still under construction, lots of work going on, but this is basically what uh, they're hoping it's going to look like when it's all finished. And I'm sure it'll be very pretty, but at the moment we've got uh, fences all around. That does not look too good. At this time of the year, they should have all the Christmas markets here. All the market stalls should be filling Plata España and it should be buzzing with people. Uh, but not this year, and uh, so the market stalls have all been moved across the road to the intermodal station, to the park just behind uh, the Boston Railway Station. So we're going to investigate that and see what's going on. Well, we just crossed over the road now and we're by the intermodal station, so that's the escalators down there. And uh, Anita's queuing up, she wants to get a, a lottery ticket. It's the Onthe lottery ticket, that's the blind association. And we're going to have a look to see what's going on. Quite a few people around, uh, a few people in the bars, cafes, and there's all quite a long queue at the cinema. I uh, don't know what film was on there we were going to see, but there was a queue to go in there. And we didn't win on El Gordo, El Gordo being the fat one, the big lottery. Uh, we did have a ticket there, but uh, no prizes for us. Um, but uh, some people did win in Mallorca. In fact, the first prize on El Gordo uh, was uh, sold in Mallorca. And uh, it's, di it's divided into fractions. And uh, so one of the fractions, uh, part of it was actually sold in our local supermarket, the uh, Tobacos, the uh, news agents next to it. So Anita's going to get something here. Yeah, these are not such big prizes. They have the daily one and then they have the weekend one and they've got some other prizes as well. So uh, we'll see what she comes out with. Oh look, she went in that. There's quite a few people queuing up now. The Are these the winning tickets? It's a change. <laughs> While she was in England she bought a, a lottery ticket there and she actually won £30. Hello. That's, that's a, a world record for her. Never usually wins anything like that. coming around this way because we saw some uh, funfair type activities for the youngsters and then we'll go and investigate the uh, the market area so that's it it says it's 18 degrees today and uh, it's late afternoon it's half past four so the light's going to be gradually fading as we walk around I guess chestnut stall, they're quite popular at this time of the year. And then we've got the fun activities for the children. We went ice skating, didn't we, in Clark's Village? In England, yeah, we went to Clark's Village and they... Well, we didn't go, the children did. This is all for youngsters, so it's none of the big rides. And uh, what's very popular here is the ice skating so we've got a little ice skating rink here i don't know if we'll be able to get in and have a quick look oh they're just uh, preparing it for the next round i don't think it's for us well the ice skating is obviously popular with a lot of people there's a big queue there uh, but still some more fun activities here. Just, uh, just come to the side of the ice skating, you can have a look inside now. I feel like having a fun fair here, it's more than I, uh, I was expecting. Very noisy, just like any other fun fair. Oh, 
I came uh, well, earlier on in, in the month when they were setting all of this up and uh, nothing was open then. Well, this is now all up and running. And there's a, a little section where you can buy well, chocolate and crepes and goffries and churros and that sort of thing. All look like uh, sweet and sticky to me. <laughs> We're not into sweet and sticky, are we, dear? We're not. <laughs> so behind the all of this, there's um, a park. It is quite a big park. Just look here. Uh, big white iron gates, and this is the park. It goes on and on down there, and you've got that on one side. You've got exactly the same on the other side. Uh, but the path, the main path that goes all the way through, has now been adorned with market stalls. And, uh, oh, they've got all the trains and letters. Elliot, was it? All oh, right, you've got one for Elliot. Uh, I have to think about that. I wasn't sure when we uh, decided to come get on the bus whether all the stalls would be open and, or whether any stalls would be open because it's uh, in the daytime. I expect them to be open maybe a little bit later on but uh, some are open, some are not open. It looks to me as though the majority are open actually. And this will look very pretty, I think, later on when the, the sun's gone down and uh, the lights are switched on. When I was here before, the stall holders, some of them were inside here preparing the stalls for this uh, Christmas period. And it's Boxing Day today, so I think if you're in the UK, Christmas celebrations like this have already come more or less to an end. Whereas uh, here, this goes on now uh, right through till the 6th of January, so they have a much longer go at it. What's the need to shoelaces come undone? Oh dear, dear, it's all happening at once. <laughs> I'll go find a bench and tie my lace. Oh, I need to catch up with me. So quite a few people out. <laughs> Some people slack lining. I'm going to try that, I'd break something. It would either be the slack line, the tree, or something in my body. <laughs> A few more closed down here. The one they had in um, the other place last year. Ah, the yes, the Christmas tree in front of us. That was in Park de Mar, so they've uh, they've recycled it and reused it and moved it here. Incense sticks and incense burners. And also around this Christmas tree there's various uh, food outlets. So here you can get yourself a burger. 
and Issa Cakes over there. You see that quite a lot around. And then on this side we've got some more food outlets and then somewhere you can actually see, sit. We've even got a street entertainer for us. So at night time this will all get lit up and all the Christmas tree here will get lit up. But the cute thing about it is you'll be able to walk through it and all the lights will be on and it'll look really quite spectacular. Can't show you that at the moment though. Just carry on through. Olive stall over there. <laughs> and we've still got a few more stalls beyond this Christmas tree square. And just on the other side, just to prove it is a park, you've got uh, some children's activities there, it's a big train that you can they can play on. It looks like the last few of the stalls have not opened up yet. I'm guessing they'll open up as it goes a little bit darker and it looks a bit more festive then. If you come in from this end, you can see we've got uh, two big Christmas trees uh, which are the entrance from this side. Not really the side that we would normally come from though. And this is the play area for the children. This is the station's park it's referred to, so what's more appropriate than have a little train for them to play on. And there's more things down here, there's a, it looks like a castle, and then more fun activities for them. And then of course you've got the rest of the park. Oh, that looks like a lot of fun for the youngsters. I think I could do that though. Well, it is Boxing Day, so we've come to a, a fairly special place for uh, coffee, which I don't normally walk past and, and admire, but not go in. We're inside Cappuccino, which is on San Miguel. It's lovely, and it warm is and cosy. A very beautiful, very pretty place with a wonderful Christmas tree behind us, and uh, it's a beautiful setting. It's very warm in here. Um, the heating is very good, <laughs> uh, and we're going to enjoy our coffee. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers. And a good coffee it is. Well, if you're looking for somewhere special to go in Palma and you're in San Miguel, which is where we are, the lights have just come on, and then uh, Cappuccino is, is a place to go. Beautiful, really, really nice. nice. So you can just see the Christmas lights have just come on. We're going to head down, back down this way towards Plata de España. Tomorrow, we've got a pharmacy here. Tell us what the temperature is, perhaps. It was about 18 degrees when we came came in. We've just been in uh, Cappuccino. It says 17 degrees now. So that's pretty good. Um, we're going to go back and see if we can have a look at the uh, market by the 
stations and uh, hopefully the lights will have come on there. So we'll catch up with you in just a minute. Well, we come back to the Christmas market just to show you what it looks like with the, uh, with the Christmas lights, lights on. So we're starting at the far end, it says up there, on the dial. Happy Christmas. It's just about going dark now. So you can see the children's parks nicely lit up so they can play there even when it does go dark. I still notice that uh, a few stalls are not open. I think maybe they're having Christmas Day and Boxing Day off and they'll be opening up tomorrow. And we've just had a lovely coffee at the cappuccino. Different soon. We're just coming up to the, the big Christmas tree that I was telling you about. It used to be in Park Tamar. Well, now it's all lit up here in the station car park. And it does look quite spectacular. Here we've got all the bars around as well. It's like a big square. Lots going on, and there's lots of people out to enjoy it. Ah, heading us through Christmas tree. Coming inside now. I'm going to manage that. Here she is. She's just been spotting Santa Claus over there. He must be on his holidays now. Pero uno que me, que me tapó las orejas, 
Esto también para los reyes. Voy a sortir el sofá. Gente que da cochilla. Gracias, gracias. Por lo menos hay un porcentaje alto de Pues en vez de dar... Vamos a Italia. Vamos a stalls and now we we're in the, the fun fair attractions which also looks quite different when all the lights are shining people having their gokris and their chocolate and their very churros but the fairground is bound to bring the, the youngsters out I'm not so young as well on this one. We're just getting off the ride now. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed our little walk around uh, the market here in Palma. Um, but we're going to sign off now because we're going to go off to church. Something different, isn't it? <laughs> Do you like a good church? Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.